Aloha, I'm Nicholas Jordan Moore. In this video, I'm going to tell you a story about me being vulnerable and how that has impacted my life in a very positive way. Typically in these videos, I'm usually reading from a script, but today I thought I would just openly and candidly discuss something that was very monumental in my life for really to me to be able to step into this vulnerable self that I am today. So, um, when I was 16, uh, I did something really, really terrible that I had a lot of shame and guilt about for a long time. Um, I talk about it more in depth in my book, and in my book, you'll get to read exactly how it went down. But today, I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of what happened. So, I was with my girlfriend for over a year. We had been talking about sex for a long time. She still wasn't ready. She grew up Church of Christ, which if you don't know, is very, very strict. And um, she wasn't ready. And, you know, when we were messing around one day in her bedroom, you know, things were hot and heavy. And I decided that I was going to try to get her to or convince her to, to let me do it. And um, after she told me to stop a couple times, I tried to convince, you know, just trying to gently get her to give in to me and um, then I took her silence as consent and silence is not consent by any means now she never thought or felt like she was raped but it happened very very quickly it was over before I knew it and then she was crying and I felt devastated I, mean, I felt absolutely terrible it's like I couldn't believe what I just did I just did something that I thought I wasn't capable of doing and it was to someone that I really loved. So I didn't know how to make sense of that in my mind. So you know, that night, we ended up having consensual sex to make it better because you know, we both wanted our relationship to continue. But yeah, I held a lot of shame and guilt about that for a long time. And no one would ever know that story unless I would have written my book, unless I would have told everyone about it. But the first time that I actually was vulnerable to share about that was on a social media post. And I just put, the first time that I had sex was not consensual. Vulnerability equals power ability. And if you're familiar with my book, The Vulnerability Equals Power Ability, that's actually my subtitle. Um, but that was the first time that I wrote those words was when I was ready to open up about something that I had a lot of shame and guilt about. Now, a lot of people assumed that I was talking about something happening to me in that post because it wasn't very direct, but then when somebody commented, I just blatantly said, she said stop, I kept going. And he called me a rapist. And I told him that was perfectly fine. I don't believe that we're defined by our past, but I do believe that the past will can come back and continue to define us unless we're able to actually reflect on it, own up to it, be real about it, like, yes, I did this, this was not cool, this was terrible, but I'm ready to at least own up to it and start making better decisions going forward. Now, me being vulnerable, now just imagine for yourself telling everyone that you know, all your family, friends, everyone, that by all intents and purposes, you kind of raped your girlfriend when you were 16. That probably feels absolutely terrifying. Like, oh my God, everybody's going to hate me. Nobody's going to understand. When the truth is, is that when we can really have courage to talk about the really difficult things, such as really messed up things that you've done or that you feel bad about or embarrassed about, from the outside looking in, it looks courageous. From the outside, it looks courageous. But from the inside, we have all this judgment and fear around it. Like, we think, oh my God, they're not going to understand. But you know, I read a book by Brene Brown uh, called Daring Greatly a long time ago. And this woman, she studied shame and vulnerability for about 10 years before she wrote the book. Uh, she has a TED Talks as well talking about vulnerability. I definitely recommend watching that. But one of the fascinating facts that she figured out is that we see it backwards in our minds. You know, if we see someone else being courageous and vulnerable, 
and telling their story up on stage, talking about all sorts of terrible things they've done, or on a YouTube video talking about something really messed up that they did. I'm like, wow, person's courageous. I could never do that. You know, people would hate me. They would never understand. So we see someone else doing it, we think they're courageous, but if we think about ourselves doing it, we think people are going to judge us and hate us and not understand. So that's something to kind of brew in your mind and really just sit with that and try to fully understand that and then start testing it. Start to be vulnerable. Now don't just throw up, you know, a bunch of information when someone isn't ready to handle the information or don't just tell somebody something really vulnerable without make giving it a good space for it and really giving time for whatever it is that you're going to share to set in and a healthy environment where both of y'all feel comfortable and ask for permission you know really getting consent on hey i want to talk to you about something i need to tell somebody something you know i watched this youtube video and this guy's telling me that i need to tell a friend about something terrible i've done that i haven't told anyone um, but when you do it you're going to see that you're going to give the other person permission for them to be vulnerable to. And more than likely, if you do share something that's really tough for you to share, they'll more than likely share something with you that you didn't know about them. The things I've learned about people and friends since me, since I opened up and really shared my story, you know, I've learned all sorts of things that I would have never known. And now it's deepened our relationships. It's find more compassion and empathy. Because life is really confusing and difficult and we all do things that we aren't proud of and we all hurt people at times but the way that we can lessen that and raise a better future generation is to really embrace more vulnerability in our lives the more vulnerable we can be with our children the more vulnerable they'll learn to be the more we can talk about our feelings and the more or the less that we're actually gonna really hurt each other so that's my two cents for today. Um, I hope this video was helpful, at least just hearing me talk about something that w was really tough for me. But embrace vulnerability. I promise you that it will make an impact on all your relationships in your life. It's, it can be really scary, so take baby steps, you know, but we all just want to be loved. And if you really want to embrace a deeper love from others, you've got to learn how to deeply love yourself. and. If you're going to love yourself, you got to learn how to forgive yourself. And if you can't be vulnerable to talk about things that you're not, a, not proud of or you're ashamed of or whatever that might be, then it's going to be really tough to find that forgiveness for yourself if you can't even talk about it. So start with baby steps and slowly work your way up to really start embracing more vulnerability in your lives. And I promise a lot of good things will come from it. So thanks for joining me. If this video was helpful, do me a favor. Um, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave me a comment below. Uh, if you like this style of me just freestyling and talking more than me actually reading a script, I would love to know that too. Um, yeah, writing a script every week is a lot, but I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to help bring more light and love into the world. So I appreciate y'all joining me today. I'm Nicholas Jordan Moore, reminding you that you're worthy of abundance, love, and happiness. Until next time.